Hey guys, I'm here for just a quick demo on a couple tools that we haven't gone over. We're going to talk about transforming, distorting, and then also doing a little bit of play with flipping um, a part of your layer or a whole layer or whatever to get some interesting effects. So play around with some things like this. So I've got, I've just opened up an image. This is a model that I built. Um, and then I just made this shape that I filled with color. And this is the part that I'm going to be transforming and editing. So that's what is selected. Um, if you click on edit and you click free transform, Transform is going to allow you to, you can rotate a shape. If you hover and you see the arrows come up, you can um, drag an area in the corner and that will maintain proportions of that shape. If you want to change the proportions, you can click on a side part and then you can freely edit the proportions of that shape that you have selected. So that is free transform. Let's take a look at free distort. Do you want to apply the transform? Yes or no, up to you. I'm gonna click no. Um, you can distort. Um, distort will allow you to pick an individual corner and modify that shape. So, whoa, and look what happens if I overlap. It will create a, the Pringle effect. So you've got some overlapping going on there and you can, um, alter the perspective of something. So that's another interesting thing that you can do with distort. Do you want to apply the distort? In this case, yes, I want to apply this. Yes. Now, let's play around with um, flipping a part of a layer. So I'm going to select half of my screen. Here, let me edit down. I'm going to select half. And I am going to copy. I'll show you on here instead of doing the keyboard shortcuts. Paste. So I've got that over here. And if I select it, if I, I click this arrow that selected it. I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. And now I was able to create a little mirror effect. So those are just three things that you can do. It automatically, it will assi it assigned a color to my transparency that I had over here. Of course, I could go in on a background layer, make it empty, drag that beneath. You see me doing all this crazy stuff. And I could change those colors in the background if, if I wanted to, or just select that area with the um, select selection tool. Um, and I can, you know, Obviously, I would select it more smartly than that, um, but then I could go in and, and modify that. So this is a few tools that you you have in your toolkit that we haven't haven't covered, and I wanted you to to see that just so you could play around with it and stuff. So um, experiment with these in your um, maybe on your Christmas card assignment or your holiday card, Thanksgiving, whatever holiday you want to make those cards for. So that's it for now. Bye.